All right, folks, we're out. Um, we're gonna have another adventure today. It's becoming the John and Jay show because people get sick and they can't come with us, but that's all right, because we've got some fun stuff uh, planned for this afternoon, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. We're in the Black Mountain uh, Trailhead parking lot right now. We're gonna go up to the summit and then loop around the backside and hit the Black Mountain Ponds. Probably check out the lean-tos there. So stick around, gonna have a great day today, I think. Uh, John, you can see he's got He's got a he's got a huge bag on his back, and that's part of what the fun is going to be today. There's a, there's something really interesting in there. So stick around. I promise it's going to be uh, exciting and uh, delicious in every way. So today we're doing cold soak attempt number two. We took these straight from the internet. So we got loaded baked potatoes in here and we got some ramen. We're gonna make the uh, ever so well-known ramen bomb uh, for our second attempt at cold soaking. So we got our ultralight talenti jar right here and it's pouring out. So we'll see what happens, Let's pour this in here. So if you checked out our Fulton chain trifecta video, You'll, uh, you'll know why this is attempt number two. The first attempt, um, I would say it didn't work out so well. I, that's an understatement. Uh, no, say. that was like cheese juice. And... Yeah, it was, it was not, not a good thing. So uh, John did some research, figured out what he needed oh, yeah. to do to make it work. And uh, we're gonna give this one a whirl, see how it goes. Let's put some of this ramen into our mash here. All right, uh, we, no, we're not gonna use the flavor packet, I don't think. I think we're just gonna leave the flavor packet alone. We're gonna let the loaded potatoes do the work of the flavor. All right, so now the water ratio is the weird thing here. Everything online says a little bit above what you got in there. So that's, that's what we're gonna do here because last time we had way too much water. I actually should have brought a spoon to probably stir this. I'm gonna have to use my finger, I think. It's gonna be more interesting. <laughs> you can use a stick. All right, here, we can shake it. We'll do a oh, shake. We'll put a little bit more water in there. Oh yeah, that looks delicious already. All right, let's get ourselves some more water. Quick little disclaimer, I'm not entirely convinced cold soaking is the way to eat food, so All let's right, see so how this goes. Let's see, this looks a little bit above where the thing is, so I don't know, we're gonna leave it at that and we're gonna carry this around for a few hours and see if it's edible at the end of the day. Not sure if it comes through on the video, but uh, the warm spring air and the ice, when they collide, they're making a nice foggy, misty awesomeness. It's kind of uh, kind of spooky, but excellent at the same time. Very cool. what that is looks like looks like some sort of power pole but it's really not that tall maybe seven and a half feet very strange and why would there be a power pole odd pretty gray today, but uh, at least the rain has stopped and we're not getting soaked from that. We might get a little bit of flurries later, that'd be all right. 
but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have very good views on top. We'll see. We had to go a little off trail to check this out, but all of the water is going underneath this snow and ice bridge. That is way cool. It's a pretty deep little pool too. Yep. That's awesome. So we're walking and uh, we can hear the water going underneath where we are. But check it out. <laughs> Glad we're not stepping on that. The feet would be even wetter than they already are. <laughs> and of course, I spoke too soon. My foot went right in there. Oh boy. Well, let's finish the hike with a wet foot. This weird cool. shoulder season, um, the, uh, the ice melt, the snow melt, it has made the trail a river, as you can probably tell from the other bits of the video. Um, this is going to be an interesting crossing, so <laughs> let's see. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's going literally underneath me right now. That should be fun. This is fine. Oh. Nice, dude. Oh. You want sticks? Nope. All right, good luck. So my foot has fallen in the water a couple times already just by standing around. So this should be interesting. Hmm. All right. That rock moves. Oh. Ah. All right, good. <laughs> We're dry for now. mist has increased a bit as we get closer to the top um, so much so that if John gets too far ahead of me I actually can't see him so that's kind of neat I have a feeling we're gonna be socked in completely on the uh, summit but it doesn't really take away from the day too much especially with the surprise we have in store for up there uh, we're almost there a couple more big pushes and then uh, we'll get to the top and you you're gonna enjoy this one I think We're at the top of Black Mountain. Um, it is 2,651 feet above sea level. Sea level. Oh. And uh, on top, there is a weather station. You can see it up there. We'll go up a little higher in a bit. But uh, some solar panels, there's a wind turbine, things like that. And typically, there's a huge, huge view right out this way of Lake George. But uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're pretty well socked in. You can't even see too far. Check it out. John and I are gonna take a few minutes break I think with the rain with the rain we're gonna kind of make a decision on whether or not we're gonna do our summit snack or if we're going to uh, wait till we get down to one of the lean-tos but uh, I think we'll be pretty good oh John said there's another one of those poles right here I wonder if it was like a ski lift I don't think ski lift 
it does look like it had, I don't know, uh, that's kind of weird. If you know what that pole is used for, uh, leave it in the comments below. I'd be really interested to uh, find out. I don't think we saw any more than just this one and the one down uh, near the bottom. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hang out for a few minutes, figure out what our plan is, and uh, we'll get back with you. Stick around. This would be an awesome view. It's not. <laughs> Spectacular views. This is why we do it, right? <laughs> Next time, I guess. We made it down the back half, the back side of the mountain pretty quick. Uh, it's a fairly steep set of uh, switchbacks, which is nice, but uh, they're kind of slippery. This, is, this weather is this weather's interesting. Um, not only is this the south side of the mountain, so the sun hits it, but there's ice under the wet leaves. You know, that's that's fun. That works out well. I didn't us. fall at all. No, definitely not definitely not a couple times. No. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're down here. Um, we're going to keep on hiking out. We're going to hit up one of the lean-tos on the Black Mountain Ponds, and um, then you'll see our, our little hiking surprise for the day. Uh, so, it uh, should be pretty quick and easy. The rain has not stopped, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, at least we're already as wet as we're gonna get, so. <laughs> and there's dryness in the lean-to. Dryness in the lean-tos. I can't wait. So. Made it to the lean-to. Um, yay, it's dry. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. We're gonna hang out here for a bit and uh, whip up something extra special for the trip today. And I think, based off of the fact that it's been raining the entire time, we were completely socked in on the summit, and most of our stuff is wet, this is gonna be the best part of the trip. And now for something completely different. There we go, unleash that. Here. An avocado. Some sushi <laughs> rice. Some uh, spicy shrimp. And we got our sauces. Yep. Along with our sushi rolling kit. 
<laughs> I'm making some spicy shrimp sushi. Yes. Right now. We got. Because we're not hobos. Just because we're on the trail doesn't mean we can't have some good foods. We got pineapple habanero wraps right here. We got some sesame seeds, toasted sesame seeds, and some breadcrumb crunchies to put in the shrimp to make crunchy, spicy shrimp rolls. All right, we've got a cutting board. That's Let, about all we need. Let's see how this goes. Put our paper down. And we got this, and then that's the top. And this goes down over here. See, this is the, this is the cheater's way to do it. It makes it nice and easy. Now we're gonna take some of our sushi rice that I've never stored overnight, so we'll see. I don't know, it feels good. We can mold it pretty good. We're gonna put some of our sushi rice on here. And actually I should have some water to put on the spoon, but then we just kinda put our rice all down through here. Get some more. Fill up our hole here. With that rice, push it all together, get it nice and sticky. Actually, do you have your uh, Gatorade bottle? I need like a little bit of yeah. water to wet the end of it. <laughs> I guess we just put our hands in the rain. We have tons of water. <laughs> There's water everywhere. Okay, so then we don't need this green thing anymore. Yeah, here, can you just, with your finger, just wet the uh, outside of that? Right here. Yep, just wet that. All right, and then we're gonna put some of our avocado down through here. All right, get some avocado down. Now this was supposed to be done on the top of the mountain, but no, it's lean-to sushi <laughs> rather than summit sushi. And then we put some of our spicy shrimps in here. All right, and put some of that spicy shrimp down in through here. Okay, okay. Let's get our spicy shrimp. I just want to eat this by the spoonful because it's awesome. And then um, let's see. We'll put a. We'll put a. No, we'll leave the sesame seeds for the outside. We'll just put some crunchies on the inside. Put the crunchies in here. So now it's crunchy, spicy shrimp. Alright. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Some more crunch. Alright, then we got the cheater board here. So, not sure I should have put that on that, but it's okay, it'll still work. And then we just start folding over our roll. It's pretty big. Lay this back. And then we just keep rolling. There we go, good enough. We'll do. And then then we'll do pig. Yeah, we're going to take it off here and put it onto this cutting board again. And we got our fancy little, I'll move that over here, we don't care if this is dirty. We got our fancy cutter here. And then we'll cut our slices. Just like that. So this whole little set just cheats making sushi. But it makes it a lot easier to make the sushi in a lean-to. Not much. <laughs> this is really beat up sushi, but it'll work. That one's not gonna be nice either. <laughs> now it just looks like a pile of this. And now what we gotta do, we gotta put a little dollop of daisy on. Let's see if that'll do. Yeah, there we go. Put some of that on there. Drizzle some of that stuff. All over the place, and then we'll do a little bit of this one. A soy sauce. Oh, this, this is like a thicker kind of soy sauce. Just do a little bit of that on there. And there we go. We got a sushi roll. All right. That's incredible, John. <laughs> well done, right, We got lean to sushi. <laughs> <laughs> this may very well be a YouTube first, so don't quote me on it, but we're pretty sure. <laughs> Should be good. Um, let's see how it tastes. Ready? I love me some sushi, and this looks really good. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> it's really good, right? 
I think even if we weren't in the middle of the woods, this would be really good food, which is awesome. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Well, so as delicious as Summit Sushi was, or uh, Lean To Sushi, rather, uh, always remember, clean up your mess and do your best to leave no trace. Oh, it looks thick. It's not watery, but it might be too thick. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible. That does not look like it has enough water in it. Ooh, Ooh ramen like... bomb. This needs more water. I was say, it looks kind of like concrete. It's some okay. sort of building can we, material. We can patch the lean-to with it. Oh, no, not yet. We need more water. We're trying a little bit. <laughs> it looked like the noodles are actually <laughs> wiggly. Yeah, go ahead. So that's that's a yeah, good thing. Yeah, it's actually not like it's edible. <laughs> it's a, you, you want to try? Just put your fingers here, in there. So the yeah, here, take the spoon. There you go. Get it dirty first. There you go. Try a little bite. It's like it's edible. Oh, it's, it's dry. <laughs> it's very dry. Like I wouldn't cut the. It's spam actually up. tasty. I wouldn't cut the spam up yet. Like we're gonna wait. Have to wait to cut the spam up. Put too much water in, you're gonna ruin it. I know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that. Soak for the way back to the car, <laughs> and then we'll try it there again. This lean to is pretty awesome. There's the area around it. Lots of trees to hang a hammock from, if you're interested. There's a privy nearby, right there. And obviously, you already saw the uh, view out to the pond, so uh, if you're in the Black Mountain area and you feel like doing a nice overnight, it's a gorgeous place. Highly recommend it. sun poking through the clouds. It was warm for about four seconds. Then the trail turned into a river. So that's the risk of hiking on the last day of March in the Adirondacks. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Get moving before it gets worse. <laughs> well, I'm on a, I'm on a route. I'm just wondering if I can. <laughs> yes, it looks not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's Lapland Pond through the trees there. And there's another lean-to uh, on the other side. Quite nice, actually. I'm hoping to take the kids out there camping sometime this summer, so look forward to that one. All right, so cold soak after some more water. Here we go, let's try it. Now, I heard better. It's still, the potatoes are still pretty powdery, but it's edible. I don't think I would ever do this again. <laughs> I would definitely heat it up and it would probably be delicious, but ramen bomb cold. I mean, it's calories, but I wouldn't do it again. 
All right, it's just about three o'clock. We made it back down to the trailhead and life is good, man. Um, solid hike, it was about seven miles today. And I would say four of it was in the rain. Um, the sun came out for a bit, which was really nice. Looks like uh, we might get some more weather rolling in and I'm glad we're at the car. What'd yeah. you think? No, it was fun. Yeah. And yeah, just if there's anything you want me to cook on a summit or eat on a summit, you let us know down in the comments. I'll bring it, I'll cook it, we'll make another video of it. Yeah. Uh, today was trail sushi or uh, lean to sushi, lean -to -sushi. whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was incredible. Thank you very much for bringing that. Um, I'm just going to eat my ramen bomb. <laughs> It's good stuff. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I hope that you get a chance to get outside and do something awesome every single day. And until next week, take care.